the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Amen. Welcome to our Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels for our celebration of the ordination to the priesthood. It is a day of great joy for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, and we especially keep our brother uh, right now permanent uh, transitional deacons are going to be ordained as priests today. So let's start a celebration acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Mary God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I thought, when I felt, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Before I ask, this is very heavy pressure all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Lord our God, who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your will to these deacons or your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by, by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lectura del Libro de los Números En aquellos días, Moisés le dijo al Señor, ¿Por qué tengo que cargar con todo este pueblo? ¿Acaso yo lo he concebido o lo he dado a luz para que me digas, toma en brazos a este pueblo como una nodriza a la criatura? y llévalo a la tierra que yo juré darle a sus padres? Yo solo no puedo cargar con todo este pueblo, pues es demasiado pesado para mí. Si me vas a tratar así, mejor quítame la vida, y no tendré que pasar tantas penas. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, Reúne setenta ancianos que te conste que son sabios y prudentes y maestros del pueblo. Condúcelos a la puerta de la tienda de la reunión y deténlos ahí contigo. Yo voy a bajar y a hablarte y tomaré una parte de tu espíritu para entregárselo a ellos a fin de que compartan contigo toda la carga del pueblo y no tengas que llevarla tú solo. Fue pues Moisés y comunicó al pueblo las palabras del Señor y congregó a setenta ancianos de Israel y los colocó cerca de la tienda de la reunión. Entonces el Señor bajó en la nube y le habló a Moisés. Tomó del espíritu que había en Moisés y se lo entregó a los setenta ancianos. Y cuando el espíritu se posó sobre ellos, se pusieron a profetizar. Palabra de Dios.
mesa con perfume y mi copa rebosa. El Señor es mi고린도 신자들에게 보낸 둘째 서간의 말씀입니다 그리스도의 사랑이 우리를 다그칩니다 한 분께서 모든 사람을 위하여 돌아가셨고 그리하여 결국 모든 사람이 죽은 것이라고 우리가 확신하기 때문입니다 그분께서는 모든 사람을 위하여 돌아가셨습니다 살아있는 이들이 이제는 자신을 위하여 살지 않고 자기들을 위하여 돌아가셨다가 되살아나신 분을 위하여 살게 하시려는 것입니다 그러므로 우리는 이제부터 아무도 속된 기준으로 이해하지 않습니다 우리가 그리스도를 속된 기준으로 이해하였을지라도 이제는 더 이상 그렇게 이해하지 않습니다 그래서 누구든지 그리스도 안에 있으면 그는 새로운 피조물입니다. 옛것은 지나갔습니다. 보십시오. 새것이 되었습니다. 이 모든 것은 그리스도를 통하여 우리를 당신과 화해하게 하시고 또 우리에게 화해의 직분을 맡기신 하느님에게서 옵니다. 곧 하느님께서는 그리스도 안에서 세상을 당신과 화해하게 하시면서 사람들에게 그들의 잘못을 따지지 않으시고 우리에게 화해의 말씀을 맡기셨습니다 그러므로 우리는 그리스도의 사절입니다 하느님께서 우리를 통하여 권고하십니다 우리는 그리스도를 대신하여 여러분에게 빕니다 하느님과 화해하십시오 주님의 말씀입니다 
Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock, one shepherd. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let those to be ordained priests come forward. Deacon Luther Diaz. Deacon Jose Maria Ortiz Casillas.
Deacon Miguel Angel Ruiz. Deacon Emmanuel Delphin. Deacon Brian Humphrey. Deacon Louis Young Wong Song. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God, and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, un día de gran alegría para la Arquidiócesis de Los Ángeles. Hoy que estamos celebrando la ordenación uh, de los nuevos sacerdotes para el ministerio aquí en la Arquidiócesis. Uh, los tenemos a, to a todos ustedes, especialmente en nuestras oraciones. Today, we give thanks to God for our brothers who have been called to be ordained priests. They love Jesus and they have a heart to make him known and to bring him into our world. Every ordination is a time for us to thank God for the gift of the priesthood. God gives us priests to accompany and guide, and guide us on our path of following Jesus. As we know, our priests are with us at every stage in our lives, bringing the love of God to us in the sacraments and in our mission of service and evangelization. They are with us when we are baptized as infants. They help us to grow, feeding us in the Eucharist and healing us in the sacrament of reconciliation. They prepare us to be conf conf confirmed as mature disciples. Our priests are there when we are married, and they are there to anoint us for our final journey, from this life to the life of the world to come. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we realize that every one of us has a vocation. We are not all 
called to be priests. But we all participate in the common priesthood of Jesus Christ. We are calling each of us to follow him and to play our part in his beautiful plan for the salvation of the world. Jesus gave his church only one mission, to proclaim him risen and alive, and to unite the peoples of this world into one family of God. This is our mission, every one of us here today. We are called to be missionary disciples, bringing the love of Jesus in, into every walk of life and every life situation. And God gives us his priest to accompany us in this mission. My dear brothers, this is a noble vocation that you are called to, to be spiritual fathers of the family of God here in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. The one who calls you today is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He calls you by name. Luther, Jose Maria, Miguel Angel, Emmanuel, Brian, Louis. Jesus, as we hear in today's passage of the gospel, is the good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. But this is the whole content of the gospel. Jesus died for us, he rose for us, and now he walks with us to lead us through the dark valleys of this world into the light of the world to come. Now you, my dear brothers, are called to be the shepherds of God's people. And Jesus is calling you to do, to do it as he did, serving your brothers and sisters in humility, from the heart, and at a personal sacrifice. Our Lord came to us in weakness, as a child in the womb. He humbled himself to come among us and to be our servant. And he offered himself as a sacrifice, giving his own life so that we could find life. And in this, my dear brothers, he has given you a beautiful exam example for your own priesthood. Your ministry should be characterized by humility, service, and sacrifice. And my dear brothers, I have to tell you, it is exciting to be a priest. I wouldn't train my vocation for anything in the world. There is nothing more beautiful than to bring people to the encounter with Jesus Christ so they can know him and love him and imitate him and work to make this world his kingdom. When you are a priest, you pray every day at the altar, and when you do, you are standing between heaven and earth. And at that altar, in your hands, God comes to his people, in his body and blood, his soul, his soul and divinity. God comes to you so you can bring him to his people. It is beyond words. How beautiful that is. It is an amazing, thrilling vocation that you are called to, to be his priest, men of God, friends of Christ. And your friendship with Jesus, this is absolutely essential to your priesthood. To be a priest means especially this, to be a man of God and to be a friend of Jesus Christ. So I'm especially praying for you, my dear brothers, and we all are. May, may your love, may you love Jesus and imitate his virtues as the good shepherd. May you love your people with a father's love and have compassion and understanding and always let the love of Christ be the, rest, the reason for everything you do. So, my dear brothers and sisters, 
Let us all pray for these men, our brothers, who in a few minutes are about to become priests. Let us thank God for the families, because the family is the foundation of every vocation. And let us pray that God will call many more men to be his priests. And let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary, Queen of the Angels, to be close to us. And may she teach, teach all of us to walk in the footsteps of her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Beloved brothers and sisters, because these are sons who are your relatives and friends and now to be advanced to the order of priests, consider carefully the, na the nature of the rank in the church to which they are about to be raised. It is true that God has made his entire holy people a royal priesthood in Christ. Nevertheless, our great priest himself, Jesus Christ, chose certain disciples to carry out publicly in his name and on behalf of mankind a priestly office in the church. For Christ was sent by the Father, and he in turn sent the apostles into the world, so that through them and their successors, the bishops, he might continue to exercise his office of teacher, priest, and shepherd. Indeed, priests are established co-workers of the order of bishops, with whom they are joined in the priestly office and with whom they are called to the service of the people of God. After mature deliberation, these, our brothers, are now to be ordained to the priesthood in the order of the presbyterate, so as to serve Christ, the teacher, priest, and shepherd, by whose ministry his body, that is, the church, is built and grows into the people of God, a holy temple. In being config configured to Christ, the eternal high priest, and joined to the priesthood of the bishops, they will be consecrated as true priests of the New Testament to preach the gospel, to shepherd God's people, and to celebrate the sacred liturgy, especially the Lord's sacrifice. Now, dear sons, you are to be raised to the order of the priesthood. For your part, you will exercise the sacred duty of teaching in the name of Christ the teacher. Impart to everyone, everyone the word of God which you have received with joy. Meditating on the law of the Lord, see that you believe what you read, that you teach what you believe, and that you practice what you teach. In this way, let what you teach be nourishment for the people of God. Let the holiness of your lives be a delightful fragrance to Christ's faithful, so that by war and example you may build up the house which is God's church. Likewise, you will exercise in Christ the office of sanctifying, for by your ministry the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful will be made perfect, being united to the sacrifice of Christ, which will be offered through your hands in an unbloody way on the altar in union with the faithful in the celebration of the sacraments. Understand, therefore, what you do and imitate what you celebrate. A celebrance of the mystery of the Lord's death and resurrection, strive to put to death whatever in your members is sinful and to walk in newness of life. Remember, when you gather others into the people of God through baptism, and when you forgive sins in the name of Christ and the Church in the sacrament of penance, when you comfort the sick with holy oil and celebrate the sacred rites, when you offer prayers of praise and thank, thanks to God throughout the hour, hours of the day, not only for the people of God, but for the whole world, remember then 
that you are taking from among men and appointed on their behalf for those things that pertain to God. Therefore, carry out the ministry of Christ the priest with constant joy and genuine love, attending not to your own concerns, but to those of Jesus Christ. Finally, dear sons, exercising for your part the office of Christ, head and shepherd, while united with the bishop and subject to him, strive to, be, to bring the faithful together into one family, so you may lead them to God the Father to, through Christ in the Holy Spirit. Keep always before your eyes the example of the Good Shepherd, who came not to be served, but to serve, and who came to seek out and save what was lost. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the world worldly and wisely preaching the gospel, and teaching the Catholic faith. I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently, in accord with the Church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with, with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care, by observing the command to pray without ceasing. I do. Finally, do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? I do. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta, buena, esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Please stand. (laughs) 
My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on these his servants, whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, Saint Michael, pray for us, Holy Angels of God, pray for us, Saint John the Baptist, pray for us, Saint Joseph, pray for us, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint James and Saint John, pray for us. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Saint Thomas and Saint James, pray for us. Saints Philip and Bartholomew, pray for us. Saint Matthew, pray for us. Saint Simon and Saint Jude, pray for us. Saint Matthias, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saints Perpetua and Felicity, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil and Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Savior, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Tarsicia, pray for us. Gonzaga, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth, pray for us. All you holy men and women, pray for us. Saint Toribio Romo, pray for us. Saint of the cross, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colunso, pray for us. Saint Cosma and Susana, pray for us. Saint Joanna, pray for us. Blessed Concepcion Caribia de Armida. Be 
merciful, Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil, Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every sin, Lord, deliver us, we pray, from everlasting death, Lord, deliver us, we pray, by your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray, by your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray, Pouring of your Holy Spirit. Oh, you holy women, pray for us. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all ordained. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. In faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. And sanctify Lord, we ask you hear our and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Oh, you holy men, pray for us. Bring us together in peace and harmony. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Comfort the troubled and afflicted. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep us strong in your holy service. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you hear our Hear us, we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out on these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that those whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated <clears throat> may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.
draw near, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through, your everything, through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the earlier covenant, offices arose, established through mystical rites. When you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men, and with their help he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the son of, sons of Aaron, you pour an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you send your Son into the world, Jesus, who is apostle and high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now, we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness, to grant us these helpers that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these your servants the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May they henceforth possess this office, which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy co-workers with our order, so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, May they be faithful stewards of your mysteries, so your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gather together in Christ be transformed into your, your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. Jesucristo el Señor, a quien el Padre ungió con la fuerza del Espíritu Santo, te auxilie para santificar al pueblo cristiano y para ofrecer a Dios el sacrificio. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard you and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. <coughs> the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard you and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God.
Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos. Y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Recibe la ofrenda del Pueblo Santo para presentarla a Dios. Advierte bien lo que vas a realizar. Imita lo que tendrás en tus manos y configura toda tu vida con el misterio de la Cruz del Señor. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. <coughs> Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
So now we have six new priests for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grind by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our dear and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the Church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry to the lay none of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give all their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Cle Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be, may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that to your whole family, which we make to you also for these your servants, who you have been pleased to raise to the order of priesthood. And in your mercy, keep safe your gifts to them, so that what they have received by divine commission, they may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, that may be, it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, O Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as one you were pleased to accept, the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, holy sacrifice, spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants and who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, all and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, 
you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, no, 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 no. 
only sir work myself the body of Christ can separate them
Let us pray. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new light to your priests and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, so before the final blessing, uh, uh, well, maybe we can pray, pray the prayer for vocations right now. Yeah. So we can pray the prayer vocations together and then the newly ordained priests are going to give us, give the uh, bishops a blessing. It's in page 13 of your booklet. You got it? <laughs> so we, pray, we can pray together. Father, in every generation, Jesus Christ, So I want to thank all of you for coming today, and especially my uh, my brother bishops, priests, uh, deacons, and uh, their wives, and also uh, the seminarians are here. So thank you for being with us. Where are the seminarians? Oh, there's some. Uh, special thank you to the choir also for helping us in a beautiful way. Thank you. And of course, a special congratulations to the newly ordained priests. So I think that you have received your faculties, now are valid, okay? And then, and then your assignments. You got it? So <laughs> we want you to start working now. You are obviously in our prayers in a special way during these first days of your uh, beautiful gift of the priesthood. Now, your first job is to give a blessing to the, to the bishop. So we are going to go there and get ready. Please be seated.
Now your second uh, job is, or ministry is to give a blessing to your families. So it's getting better by the minute. Please stand for the final place. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for the blessing. The God who founded the church and guides her still protect you constantly with his grace, that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. Amen. May he make you your servants and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth and faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful, that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks.